Hi friends, welcome to my channel NM. Learn my courses with Nagmani. Today I am going to solve this example problem in this class. Okay, for finding the reaction forces at point A and B, we are going to solve in this class. Okay, and uh, here they are given hinged support and roller support. One is inclined force, one is straight force, like point load. We studied about types of uh, loads and types of supports in first class of SOM or applied mechanics. So, if anyone did not watch that class, please go and visit that cl class. And next, continue with today's class. Okay. And we know that first for solving this type of problem, we have to draw a free body diagram. Okay. For, find, for drawing free body diagram, we have to know the reaction forces at given supports. So, we know that for hinged support, we have two types of supports. One is horizontal reaction force, one is vertical reaction force. And similarly, for roller support, we have only one vertical reaction force. So, we will write... Uh, we will uh, write the reaction forces in free body diagram. So I am again redrawing here. Okay. This is the support they are given. For at A point, we have two reaction forces in horizontal and vertical. In horizontal reaction forces, we can represent as, as RAX. And um, in vertical, we can represent as RAY. That means reaction force at a point in a horizontal direction this is reaction force at a point in vertical direction this is a and here and first we will write uh, these reaction forces and next one they are given this b point that is roller support we have only one reaction force in vertical direction okay that is r b okay we no need to write Y because only one reaction force at B. So we can write directly RB. And next one is they are given this dimension. One is 3 meter. And another one is 3 meter. Next one is 2 meter. Sorry, these dimensions are here making different. But oh, it's okay. And uh, at this point, at this point we have loads. At one point we have... 4 kilonewtons and yet here we have inclined force so for a drawing free body diagram we have to convert every point as point load this is also point load but this is in inclined so we have to convert this into x coordinate y coordinate forces so we know that for resolving inclined forces we have to draw a this x component and y component which is this is nothing but resultant force so here the 30 degrees is acting with the horizontal so wherever the force is acting in you know, uh, inclined with that axis that force which have cos theta so cos 30 so here we have 8 kilonewtons of force 8 kilonewtons of force so here 8 into cos 30 in uh, horizontal right direction and in remaining vertical direction is 8 into sin 30 in this way we can uh, solve easily we divide the resultant force into x and y component and uh, for uh, uh, like for simplification purpose i am writing we know that 8 cos 30 which is equal to here if you see in calci cos 30 which is equal to root 3 by 2 into 8 8 cos 30 is nothing but 4 root 3 okay and next one is 8 sin 30 so sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 into 8 4 so we got x component force and y component force so i will write here so in y component is 8 sin 30 8 sin 30 is equal to 4 so they are given in kilonewton so we will get 4 kilonewton and in y direction here y direction 8 cos 30 that is 4 root 3 so 4 root 3 kilo newton so we got all forces and reaction forces at uh, that supports and now we know that for solving this type of problem there are statical equilibrium 
equations are there that is forces acting in x direction is equal to d zero and forces acting in y direction sum of the forces acting in y direction is equal to zero and sum of the moments which is equal to zero these are the static equilibrium forces so for sign conventions i want to explain one thing uh, for sign conventions uh, if we take graph this is positive x direction this is negative x direction this is positive y this is negative y na so if the force is acting in horizontal direction towards this positive in positive x direction then it has positive a value then if the force is acting in this this direction we have to make negative sign and if the force is acting upward then this has positive sign if the force is acting downwards it has negative sign you have to remember this one and in for solving this momentum here we are assuming that for uh, every problem we will take for clockwise is negative negative force and uh, anti clockwise we can represent as positive with positive okay these signs we have to remember while solving the problems okay uh, if you don't remember this problems i can give some tips during the problem okay first one is we have to make sigma fx which is equal to zero forces acting in x direction is zero so if you see here uh, only we have two forces rx and 4 root 3 kilo newtons we have only two forces so if the fo this force is acting in this positive x direction so with this rx is positive and this force is acting in left side so this side so it has minus so minus 4 root 3 kilo newtons which is equal to zero from this equation we got that rax which is equal to 4 root 3 kilo newtons so we got rax value okay and uh, next one is sum of the forces acting in y direction equal to zero which is nothing but here we have ray force and rb force here 4 kilo newton force and here 4 kilo newton force there are four forces acting in y direction so some of the forces acting upward is positive so ray and rb is positive so we will write from one side to another side so then we won't uh, miss uh, forces in the in between the beam so we will write from here to that side so ray is positive so ray so here i am writing simon so ray is positive next one is 4 kilo newton which is acting downward so minus 4 kilo newtons and this is also acting downward so minus 4 and this is acting upward so rb which is equal to 0 so we got all four forces here so from this equation we got that ray plus rb so these are unknown forces which is equal to 8 kilo newtons so these two equations we got so rax is 4 root 3 kilo newtons and ray plus rb equal to 8 kilo newtons we have to find ray and rb so here uh, we have one more equation that is uh, sigma m equal to zero so some of the forces acting some of the moments acting at one point which is equal to zero so for taking moments so wherever at a point if we assume this point as c this point as d then we can take momentum at a or c or d or b any point we can take but if you take momentum about the more the forces acting like uh, which have where we have more unknown forces we have to take momentum at that point because we can avoid two reaction force like more number of forces in that particular point so i am taking forces at momentum at this point okay so we take momentum at this point so we have to take this force momentum is nothing but force into perpendicular distance this is nothing but sum of the forces in a force into perpendicular distance which is equal to zero so if you see here this is the four kilo newton force so for perpendicular distance so we are taking from this point so from here to this for this force this is the perpendicular distance so this is the perpendicular distance which is three meters 
so 4 into 3 is nothing but movement for this and this is acting so here this uh, arrow mark is there na? so this force is acting in a clockwise direction so for clockwise direction we know that minus minus 4 into perpendicular distance that is 4 3 is a so i will write 4 into 3 itself next we will simplify and the next one is 4 root 3 kilo newton this is a force is going along this point only there is no perpendicular distance per distance from this point to this is zero this is a collinear with this point so zero for this force movement is zero okay and the next one is for newton for this force perpendicular distance is from here to here but which is six meters four into six is acting like if you see here this force this is in clockwise direction so minus 4 into 6 and next one is rb is there here rb is uh, the four perpendicular distance is this much from here to this point 3 plus 3 6 7 take clockwise direction for anti-clockwise direction we have to take plus so plus rb into 8 meters so we don't have an another forces so which is equal to 0 sorry Okay, I will explain now. Here from this force to here, 4 into 3 is the momentum and the direction is which is in clockwise direction. So minus, minus 4 into 3. Next one is also 4 into this perpendicular distance, 3 plus 3, 6, 4 into 6. This is also clockwise direction from here to here. So negative. In the RB is perpendicular distance, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 into rb is the momentum and this force is acting in anti-clockwise direction which is positive which is equal to zero so in this way we got this equation from here we got so we can write 4 3 is a 12 minus 12 minus uh, 6 4 is a 24 plus 8 into rb which is equal to zero from here we got that 8 rb in which is equal to uh, 24 plus 12 36 so here 4 2 is a 8 4 9 is a 36 and 2 1 is a 2 4 is 8 2 5 is 10 from here rb equal to 4.5 kilo newtons we got so if we substitute this rb value here here we got 8 minus 4.5 is 3.5 kilo newtons okay so i am substituting rb here so if rb is equal to 4.5 kilo newtons wait i will write in uh, next page so here i wrote the uh, results which we got from the previous equations from uh, sigma fx equal to 0 from this we got this one sigma y equal to 0 from that equation we got uh, this value and uh, some of the moments acting on that point equal to 0 from that we got these points so if we substitute rb here we will get ray plus 4.5 which is equal to 8 from here we got ray is equal to 8 minus 4.5 is 3.5 kilo newtons so we got rax ray and rb values so we got the every value but they said for finding the reaction forces at a and p b point so we have so if we see that diagram that I have in here ra y here rax and here reaction force rb and some here uh, one inclined force which is uh, 8 kilo newtons and one force is here that is 4 kilo newtons this distance is uh, 3 meter this is also 3 meter and this is 2 meter 
so here we got rx and ry but we need reaction force at a that is resultant force okay that is nothing but re okay for finding real resultant force we know that re equal to root over rax whole square plus re by whole square this is the formula for finding the resultant force so rax value is 4 root 3 so 4 root 3 whole square plus ray is 3.5 whole square which is equal to so i will calculate in calci so root over here 4 into root 3 so 4 into root 3 whole square plus next one is 3.5 whole square which is equal to 7.762 which is nothing but in kilo newtons they are given in kilo newtons so it is in kilo newtons in this way we got the resultant force so we have to know how much uh, direction from the x-axis so for uh, finding the direction which is equal to theta equal to tan inverse of this is the formula tan inverse of r a y by r a x so modulus of r a y by r a x which is the direction this theta with respect to x axis for that this is the formula so we know that from here tan inverse of r a by is nothing but 3.5 so 3.5 divided by r a x which is nothing but 4 root 3 so from here we got that so for tan inverse we have to press shift tan so then we will get tan inverse so here we get 3.5 divided by 4 into root 3 so 4 into root 3 which is equal to 26.8 degrees from the x axis so from here we got theta equal to 26.8 degrees which area is nothing but 7.762 kilonewtons and rb we got 4.5 kilonewtons if you represent at the end of uh, like at the end of your solution with this free body diagram and this ra and rb values then you will get a good impression in the exam from this diagram we can uh, just uh, simply by seeing the reaction forces at b a and b correct value or not so we can identify that whether we are getting correct values or not so if you represent this free body diagram at the end of uh, your uh, answers so it is good and uh, so if you uh, whenever they if they ask reaction forces at uh, the supported uh, end then you have to find the reaction forces at that point and uh, next you have to find the resultant force if it is uh, two forces then you have to find the resultant force and uh, direction you have to find in that problem and if you see uh, anywhere in inclined problem inclined force then for solving uh, resultant forces you have to uh, take two components for this so wherever this angle is there that said we have cos sine wherever the angle is not said other side then we have sine 30 so i am saying this is for for um, quick uh, to solve in quick quickly okay before starting of the class i told you that i will give uh, some tips to remember this one if you are not able to remember these uh, sign conventions simply you do one thing some of the forces which is equal to zero now so you can write that the forces are for these forces acting which is upward like uh, so for x axis na? so forces acting in right hand side which is equal to forces acting in left side understood that means if the force is acting in right hand side so this force is acting this right side so r a x and there is no other force which is acting in right side so which is equal to the force is acting in left side that is 4 root 3 so 4 root 3 kilonewtons from this we get directly r a x equal to this value and for y direction 
maximum of the force is acting in the y direction so whatever the force is acting in downward direction you can take which is equal to some of the force is acting in upward direction that if you see here the force is acting in upward direction is ray and rb only so ray plus rb which is equal to force is acting in downward direction that is 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8 kilo newtons so ra plus rb which is equal to 8 kilo newtons so sorry ray plus rb equal to 8 kilo newtons so we got this same and for moment so for moment also for uh, some of the forces acting in clockwise direction which is equal to some of the forces acting in anti-clockwise direction this is uh, some of the forces acting in upward direction which is equal to some of the forces acting in downward direction this is some of the forces acting in x positive x direction which is equal to some of the forces acting in negative x direction in this way you can solve the problems okay if you understand please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching